Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. So this is Nazia Khan from CEO Club Pakistan, and today I'm here with another very amazing episode of Coffee with CEO with a female entrepreneur who is heading an American multinational that is present in 120 or 40 countries. Probably more than a hundred countries. More than more than hundred countries. And uh, by the way, she is not handling only Pakistan. But she is handling Bangladesh and Myanmar too. So please welcome Maria Salim, uh, CEO Corteva, in coffee with CEO. How are you, Maria? Alhamdulillah, Allah ka shukar. How are you, Nazir? Bilkul thik thak. Why don't you tell a bit about Corteva, so that the viewers know that what we are, what company we are into. So Corteva is a very young organization. Uh, if you uh, think about uh, the name Corteva. But if you talk about the legacy that this company carries, so it's a it's a merger of three huge organizations worldwide, okay. which is Dupont, um, oh, Dupont okay. Chemicals, uh, then Dow Agro Sciences, and the third one is Pioneer Seeds. So Ooh. Pioneer Seeds, Pakistan, can there, uh, you know, Pioneer Seeds has been the pioneers of introducing corn seeds into Pakistan. And uh, Corteva, um, three years ago, was formed as um, as an amalgamation of um, all the three companies having an agricultural division, mm. and then was later spun off to form an independent company uh, with the name of Corteva Agri Sciences. So the three are now one company that is Corteva. Is that That's so? Absolutely. And now you are heading it. So now I'm heading the Pakistan entity for uh, for Corteva Agri Sciences, mm. which used to be the pioneer entity. But uh, now, with the Dow uh, Agro Sciences entity combined with the um, with the Dupont uh, Agro Sciences uh, division and also the Pioneer uh, Seeds Corporation, that was in. Maria, as we make this book, hundred performing CEOs and companies of Pakistan from all over Pakistan. Uh, I don't find any female uh, CEO in a multinational sector. Kahi mein koi skip to nahi kar. Aapki nazar mein koi hai? Um, yeah, might be one or two, but not many. Is that so? Well, yes. If you see from a from a larger landscape perspective, yes. uh, not many CEOs you would find that would be females. But uh, definitely, there have been some. There have uh, been some. some. Hmm. And in the past, and uh, but there's one thing for sure: that agriculture sector, me, me, no one. That was my next question. <laughs> agriculture sector, me, no one. Although there is there's quite a bit of female representation in commercial organizations or marketing organizations or other functions, but uh, not in agriculture at all. Not in agriculture at all. Because it's not a pure uh, male-dominated sort of industry, na? No? It has always been, and. Uh, um, Or I work for various multinationals other than uh, the one that I'm working for right mm-hmm. now. But हमेशा से कोशिश रही है कि to have more uh, diversity in, uh, especially gender diversity huh. into uh, into these organizations. But with the nature of the business that we have, and uh, you know, जो थोड़े से timings के issues होते हैं उसके अंदर it's difficult to have women up till now. But we have been largely promoting that and uh, we are actively looking to provide opportunities to women um, to come into the sector and and perform really really well because we see that they are very underrepresented very underrepresented very under- so my next question is the challenges you faced in coming to this position being a female kya aapko kabhi aisa laga ke that uh, because you are a female you might have not given that opportunity or there are more challenges for you So I think overall, अगर आप career को देखें मेरे तो it has been a very rewarding career I would say. माशाल्लाह. All aspects that um, from the start I was given was placed into uh, positions or into functions that were not very traditional for women to work. अच्छा शुरू से. तो वो थोड़ी सी एक चीज पहले दिन से रही है यू नो द डे आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग व्हिच वाज इन बैक इन 2004 आफ्टर माय मास्टर्स आई आई जॉइंड पाकिस्तान स्टेट ऑयल कंपनी इन द सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट एंड वाज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट फ्यू लेडीज हु गॉट इंडक्टेड फॉर हार्ड कोर सेल्स ऑपरेशन हार्ड कोर सेल्स वो भी 20 इयर्स बैक आ यस अ वुमेन इन ऑयल सेक्टर 20 इयर्स बैक वो भी इन हार्ड कोर सेल्स हार्ड कोर सेल्स एंड डर नहीं लगा था तब ना डर नहीं लगा डर तो नहीं लगा 
कोई हेजिटेशन झिझक नहीं वो एक्चुअली आपको पहली पहली नौकरी होती तो काफी एक्साइटमेंट रश काफी ज्यादा रहा मुझमें नहीं कुछ डिफरेंट करना है यूर ऑलवेज टॉट एन एम बी ए के भाई सेल्स की नौकरी करनी जरूरी है सारी जिंदगी सुनते रहोगे के सेल्स नहीं की तो तुम्हें क्या पता क्या होता तो इसलिए सेल्स करना जरूरी थी एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो वट आई हैव रियलाइज ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इज के इट्स गुड टू हैव अ वेराइटी ऑफ एक्सपोजर सो आई हैव टेकन अ लॉट ऑफ चांसेस विद माई केरियर सो वेन आई गॉट इन टू एन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर इट वॉज प्योरली बाय एक्सीडेंट एंड मतलब कोई इंटेंडेड नहीं था आई वॉज वर्किंग फॉर पी एस आई वॉज डूइंग रियली रियली वेल आई हैड यू नो टू प्रोमोशंस इन टू ईयर्स टॉप परफॉर्मर इन सेल्स उस साल की वो लिस्टें लगती थी उन लिस्टों में ब्रेकिंग टैबूज हो गया फिर तो ना लिस्टें लगती थी कि टॉप पे कौन से लोग हैं वो उस लिस्ट के अंदर यू हैव टू मेक यू हैव टू कम इन टॉप टेन तो वो आप टॉप टेन में जब आ जाते हैं टॉप थ्री में आने की कोशिश होती है तो यू नो इन दिन प्रमोशन आर एसोसिएटेड विद इट तो वो चीज़ तो वहाँ पे थी एंड नोइंग दैट यू आर वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट यू यू न्यू दैट वहाँ पे भी करियर एडवांसमेंट्स आपको अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिलती रहनी थी बट देन आई गॉट अ हेड हंटर्स कॉल एंड दैट पर्सन की मैन एंड सेट के भाई आप के लिए एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट की एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर के अंदर सो इट वॉज द सेक्टर वॉज पिटी न्यू एंड आई डेंट नो मच अबाउट द कंपनी एज वेल आई अपीयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू एंड यू नो आई गॉट सेलेक्टेड वाओ बट नो मोर पी एस ओ एंड नाउ द एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्री हाँ उसके ऊपर फिर मेरे माए फैमिली वॉज लाइक यार अच्छा है थोड़ा सा चेंज है चेंज है तो हेजिटेंट देवर हेजिटेंट नॉट रियली नॉट रियली एट नॉट एट ऑल एंड इनफैक्ट माई मदर वॉज वेरी सपोर्टिव कि ये चेंज तो होना चाहिए तुम्हारी लाइफ अरे वाह सो आई ज्वाइन दैन मॉन सेंटो बैक इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स सिक्स एंड टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स लेटर फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग हाउ यू एंड इट अप being a CEO of a multinational aisa kya kiya aapne aapko kya sare roles kiye aur bahut sari difficult kaam bhi kiye um sabse pehle to ye ke um started taking up projects or so started volunteering myself into projects initially career se jo ke koi bhi nahi uthata tha wo kaam aapne le lena hai oh so that's <laughs> okay jo kaam koi aur karne ko razi nahi wo aap lete the wo le le जो uh, वो आप करें एंड देन ऑब्वियसली द कंपनीज दैट आई हैव वर्क फॉर आर ग्रेट कंपनीज दे हैव अ ग्रेट नेम इन द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर वर्ल्ड वाइड तो दे रिकग्नाइज दो एफर्ट्स एंड देन दे ऑब्वियसली प्रोवाइडेड अपॉर्चुनिटीज सो वन एंड हाफ ईयर इन टू माई रोल एज अ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर आई वॉज पोस्टेड टू सिंगापुर फॉर थ्री ईयर्स एंड लुकिंग आफ्टर एजिया पेसिफिक कॉर्न operations so i had the opportunity of working with different nations different nationalities different teams oh, across uh, this is exciting or uh, 26 27 28 saal ke aap hote hain to oh. that kind of uh, an exposure aapko mil jaye is achhi baat kya kya hoti hai hmm. then i came back to pakistan back in 2009 to take up another sales role because i always felt ke yaar jitna marzi aaye aap upar chale jao aapka कोर तो वही है ना कि आपने यू हैव टू सेल यू हैव टू कम बैक टू सेल्स ना हैव टू कम बैक वरना सारी उम्र सुनना पड़ेगा वन सुनना पड़ेगा टू आपको ये भी करना पड़ेगा कि दिस इज अ लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन दैट यू गेट वंस यू आर वर्किंग विद विद सेल्स ग्रुप आपको रियल टाइम इंफॉर्मेशन मिल रही होती है कि कौन से वेरिएबल्स हैं इवन इफ यू आर डूइंग मार्केटिंग दे इज अ लॉट ऑफ इनपुट दैट कम्स फ्रॉम सेल्स सेल्स एंड यू आर एबल बेटर एबल टू रिलेट टू इट इफ यू हैव डन सेल्स सेल्स योर सेल्फ योर सेल्फ आपको वो लैंग्वेज समझ में आती है आपको वो कंडीशन प्रेशर समझ में आता है प्रेशर भी समझ में आता है और कंडीशन भी समझ में आती है कि किस में ऑपरेट करना है so i took up a sales role again i had uh, you know different regions aapko handle karne hote hain to wo Uh, I had the opportunity. I became a people manager at that point in time. वो भी एक मल्टानेशनल में बड़ी चीज़ होती है यू बिकम अ फ्राम एन इंडिविजुअल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर भी बिकम अ पीपल मैनेजर आपके पास एक टीम होती है जिसके आपने डेवलपमेंट को देखना होता है उसकी टारगेट्स को देखना होता है उनकी वेलबींग को देखना होता है फुशो हाँ तो दैट स्टार्टेड बैक सो यू आर हैविंग सो मच इन योर प्लेट ना 
all departments and so much you have done in different company so that's the exposure that i guess that and help that you out know, that that will that will mm-hmm. up so aap jab sales ka role aapne rsm ya sales manager level pe kar liya then obviously the company again said ke bhai ab aap kuch aur kuch aur um let's move forward kehna, company ne kya kehna tha maine bhi kehna shuru kar diya kya kuch bataye ab kuch bataye so they gave me the opportunity to become the marketing head so oh. i also have the honor of becoming the first ever sales manager in the agri <laughs> industry and the first ever marketing head in the industry as well mm. uh, agriculture industry ki agar hum mm. baat kare and that was back in 2012 12 yeah mm. so i became the marketing head and obviously lots and lots of initiatives that at that point in time um one cento rolled out uh, from a customers connect perspective and making sure that you know um, how we are approaching the market is is differentiated compared to that of all the others who are around us so kafi sare platforms um, as a marketer jo samajhte hain aap sales mein okay ki yaar ye gaps hain you try to fill them up yeah, no? you try to fill them up while i was doing that uh, sales head ki position khuli to maine kaha ye bhi mujhe karni hai ye meri hai it is me ye bhi mujhe karni hai i was immediately given that opportunity ki nahi yaar ab ye ek reh gaya to ye bhi kar lo so did the sales role again and uh, while i was doing a sales role uh, two three years into the almost two and a half years into that role to ek aur opportunity open hui which was of southeast asia marketing head for उस जमाने में ये बायर मोनसेंटो का मर्जर चल रहा था राइट तो लॉट ऑफ पीपल सेट के यार हार्ड कोर काम करती जा रही हो और फिर थोड़ा साइड लाइन रिलैक्स साइड लाइन हो जाओगी बिकॉज यू नो मार्केटिंग का रोल वैसे भी मेन स्ट्रीम नहीं है एग्री के अंदर उस तरह से और एटलीस्ट उस वक्त तक तो नहीं था तो मैंने कहा नहीं नहीं करना तो जरूरी है थोड़ा सा आपके पास बड़ा different countries ka exposure hona chahiye so while i was uh, i took up that role and uh, meanwhile buyers consolidation started with uh, monsanto and uh, they um, provided me the opportunity to appear for a for a competition uh, in terms of whether i would qualify to be the country that, commercial head country okay. commercial head for the buyer organization in pakistan so i appeared for those interviews it was a quite a tedious task koi do do teen hafte ka ek pura executive uh, rigorous to, till ki grilling hoti tha had tak hota tha ha acha khasa kafi zyada zamane mein it was a make or break thing na ke you are applying for something which is like really big and, and next uh, level next level or that would have got you to that c level executive leadership level basically that was your first step towards the c level, uh, level position right, exactly hmm. तो उसके बाद मतलब आई यू नो बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ अल्लाह एंड यू नो मेरी अम्माओं की अम्मा की और खाला की और सब सबकी दुआएं तो उन्होंने जो है आई गॉट दैट यू नो यू नो स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग दी सी सी एल फॉर द बायर क्रॉप साइंस व्हिच वाज द मनसेंटो एंड द बायर साइंस डिवीजन कंबाइंड दैट वाज बहुत सारे लोग मुझसे कहते थे कि दिस इज द पीक ऑफ योर करियर अच्छा दिस वाज व्हाट ए व्हाट व्हाट ईयर एंड दैट वाज बैक इन 2019 तो 19 में एवरीबॉडी एज पर एवरीवन एल्स दैट वाज द पीक ऑफ द करियर तो आप बस कर दो हां कि बस दिस अब इसके बाद क्या होगा अब इसके बाद क्या ना मारिया व्हाट नेक्स्ट अम मतलब दिस इज व्हाट पीपल ड्रीम फॉर व्हेन दे स्टार्टेड ऑफ देयर करियर्स दे से कि नहीं यार मैंने इतनी बड़ी कंपनी की किसी कंट्री का हेड बनना है बस यही मेरा यही मेरा गोल है तो आई सेट कि यार ये तो भी पहला स्टेप है बिकॉज दिस इज द राइट प्लेटफॉर्म ना यहाँ से आप फिर आगे कहाँ जाते हो तो ये देखने की बात है सो आई यू नो वर्क देयर फॉर टू ईयर्स एंड देन आई गॉट अ कॉल अगेन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फॉर हेड अंडर अगेन नॉट फ्रॉम बट फ्रॉम कॉट एवर डायरेक्टली टैलेंट एक्विजेशन टीम and uh, they started asking me what i was looking for in terms of my career and what was the next steps and how can they help me grow um, as an individual as a leader um, so i gave them you know multiple paths ke bhai main ye bhi dekh rahi hu ye bhi dekh rahi hu while i was working with my team and in buyer and also with the with the um, talent development team and buyer as well because aapko apne sare options ko dekhna hota hai ki yaar कहाँ पे बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी है तो 
when Koteva came back saying it's not just Pakistan, it's uh, mm. Myanmar and Bangladesh as well with a, with a ton of opportunity in each of these countries and uh, the, the game changer was KI, you have to really set things up. Uh, from the start and you have to really take them to the next level. So that was the the, the so thing that challenge. changed my mind and that challenge that I wanted to take next. So it's been from. two years? So it's been a year, 14 months. Year, to be 14 exactly. months huh? uh, and it has been a roller coaster ride. Aha. Then. Uh, lots of changes within the Pakistan organization, quite a few changes in other organizations as well but it has been a fantastic journey so far very rewarding personally uh, and professionally as well so so, yeah, so when you represent Quateva internationally so uh, how is the world's globe's response finding a female CEO uh, on agriculture from agriculture industry there or how many other uh, more female CEOs are there you get very few mm -hmm. uh, so it's a global issue it's not only, it's not in, only Pakistan. in Pakistan, hmm. but the best part is that my commercial director for Myanmar is a lady. Oh, mashallah. Yes, and I'm very happy to have her on board. And there have been quite a few others as well uh, that we are looking to, to develop into the CEO roles for the countries specifically. So there's a lot of work going on within Corteva uh, for the diversity, uh, gender diversity and inclusion at all levels, at the management level. Uh, since the last year, we have increased uh, in terms of percentage, 20% increase in uh, female representation at management levels, which is a significant improvement versus the, the industry overall, I guess, and, uh, and phenomenal uh, results so far. Now, do Maria encourage more women to come and join the company? Of course, why not? Yes, absolutely. Do you find the same sort of passion you had 20 years back in the newcomers? Well, I think um, it depends from generation to generation. Um, when we were younger, our way of expressing that passion was a lot different. Ah, very different. Uh, and now the passion that uh, the new generation carries is uh, the way they express, express it is, is very different. Hmm. And uh, what I realized, because I've got kids of my own and obviously they're all Gen Z, so um, <laughs> they interact with them, they get a little bit outdated. Ho <laughs> <laughs> Achha, tell yes. us about Corteva's portfolio, your product, what do you do? What do you guys do? So we, uh, as I said, that uh, Corteva is a is an agri pure play agriculture company, and uh, globally we are into various crops, uh, which includes uh, some of the major staple crops across the world: corn, soya beans, um, rice, canola, sunflower, etc. And that is from a seed standpoint. If you look at crop protection, which is the chemical side of the business, then uh, obviously, we, we come from a legacy of Dow and DuPont and uh, both these companies have been market leaders in the insecticides and herbicide segment. Mm. So, all of that um, is an offering that Corteva has for our farmers in Pakistan mm. and we are working very closely with our global teams uh, as well as the local regulators and uh, local industry to make sure that such solutions with advanced technologies and uh, better performing products are available to our customers. But you guys must be having very tough competition because there are so many local uh, uh, in the, uh, local companies as well who are doing the same thing. So how are or people trust multinationals more? Well, I think uh, what differentiates multinationals versus the local companies is the research work that goes behind the introduction of products. And apart from research uh, and development which you do uh, internationally, internationally to the and a lot of research locally. Yes, locally as, yes, well. Locally as well. Mm -hmm. well. So none of our products that we bring into Pakistan is, um, you know, something that you will just pick and drop into Pakistan saying, okay, ye aap istemal kar le. Aisa nahi hota. all our products, whether it's seeds or crop protection, are checked for adaptability into the Pakistan environment. environment. Whether it serves the customer the way it's expected to serve mm -hmm. in terms of or bring value to our customers. So, so that is something that Corteva prides itself significantly on. You know, we have the customer in mind at everything we do. 
whatever we develop as products or services is has you know some of the pain points of our customers in mind of what we need to address in each of the markets and then we work very closely not only with our customers but also with our channel partners regulators to create that awareness and make sure that when we bring it in people have the capability of using it to to the best of their experiences and bring that value on their farm and increase their income so cotava means good crops are boost to economy via agriculture yes, better yields better yes. farm income better livelihood for the customers and not only uh, for this generation but for the next generation as well ah. because we also prize ourselves uh, we have a lot of pride in saying that whatever we bring in is extremely healthy for the environment oh, that's what my next question is only and will not be will not add to the complexities that chemicals bring in ah, or oh. crops bring in uh, hmm. so okay now you tell me where do you see cotava uh, five years down the road Well, Cotava. If you speak globally, I've got um, you know we we do have uh, a huge task in our hands to serve our customers and in very various different ways uh, as we aspire as an organization. Um, we plan to venture. I mean, we do have uh, a lot of research work going on, and obviously, our focus is going to be. to address some of the uh, pressing issues in terms of sustainability of agriculture across the world um which means introduction of new products introduction of new services introduction of new data uh, analytics for uh, for our customers to make better decisions on the farm what is leadership to maria salim leadership has got i mean you can google leadership and you'll find like uh, thousands of thousands definitions of different definitions and everybody has their own thought process with regards to leadership so i think leaders are just there i i mean they're actually evolving over a period you leadership does evolve over a period of time period. it's not it's something that and exposure. you say that i'm this type of a leader or i'm that type of a leader or this is what leadership means to me leadership for me means that i am better able to understand my team my team, team is better able to understand hmm. me we are able to drive the vision of the organization hmm. understand what value we bring to the organization bring what value we bring to the um to the space or, that we are operating and not just as individuals but as a team so for that's for is me, it easy for the world nationally and internationally to accept a female leader i think there's a lot of receptivity now now uh, um there was a time when people used to question the ability of women yes. um a lot of i mean I'm, i've been i've had that quite a <laughs> few time i've heard that from a few people you know you've got it, it easy because you're a female uh, so you, you can't do this, this. Or or not perfect you for you this, or or we I can mean, why do you have to do this i mean oh. for me the major question that people have asked me is why do you have to do it why karna bhi kyu hai kya so you can have an easy life Hmm. Why don't you opt for an easy life, which means that you will have more time to spend with your family. Uh, you will have, uh, you know, you can you can enjoy a lot of other. Ah, things. you can take rest, or you can watch you can soaps and dramas and stuff. Soaps no? and dramas. That and is what is for you. <laughs> Uh, but everybody has fulfillment in various ways various ways yes my fulfillment is not just with regards to what i do as a as a business woman or as a as an employee of a company or as a ceo of the company i feel that that impact is even greater and i usually quote a quote a story um uh, every time somebody asks me this question why do you do why what you do and i say that there was an event um This is back in 2012. It was June, I guess, mm-hmm. and it was probably one of uh, the grand events that we had. And it was scorching heat. We were in Chennai, in a in a mill. Uh, we had our <laughs> trial planted there, uh-huh. and we had an event, and we had uh-huh. like 200 or 300 farmers. Farmers, yes. Mm. Um, and I saw this very old man, um, and he was sitting with his. Uh, granddaughter and i walked up to him and i said kya please you know come sit under the you know the be 
जिम्मेदारा है एंड मैं छोटा सा फार्मर हूँ मेरा दस से एकड़ का मेरा प्लॉट है मैं दरीच ने उठ के लिए के अंदर होता हूँ एंड uh, मुझे पता चला कि यहाँ पर एक बीबी होती है Hi, <laughs> तो मैं अपनी uh, ये स्कूल जाने से ना बड़ा शोर मचा शोर पर जाती है तो मैं इसको लेकर को लेके आया पोती को लेकर आया हूँ दिखाने के लिए कि देखो अगर तुम स्कूल जाओगे ना तो फिर ऐसी बनो हाय बाओ ओ तो यू नो दैट वाज दैट इज व्हाट आई वर्क फॉर हाय ओ दैट्स गुड हाउ एवरी सिंगल डे Hmm. and i think so that uh, um, you need to inspire more 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 girls that's what we were talking uh, yeah, a think, minute back yeah, na hmm. okay now my next question what do you think that the three qualities a ceo must have a uh, male or female doesn't matter it doesn't now doesn't matter na? i think overall uh, everybody has their own uh, personality to bring yes. into their leadership style or competencies leadership. i think competency sabse badi cheez to empathy honi chahiye leadership ke andar number 1 is empathy empathy you should number 2 uh second thing is that uh, you should not be very compromising uh in terms of what you expect out of your team out of your team hmm. yes that's you have to take stand for them you take you you have to take a stand for them and you have to be able to articulate what's the expectation empathy maine pehle isliye kaha ki you will be able to relate relate, relate to, to your to team and then second that you should be able to fight for them na yes because you are because of them hmm one good because of them and also the fact that what's expected out of them for you as an individual you 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 showing them empathy you are you relating well with them you are responsible for their well being but then you'll be able to articulate articulate what you expect out of out of them, them too hmm. out of them too so number two way communication hmm. number 3 number 3 obviously um, you know there's a list of things that you would <laughs> you would be able to say but i think uh, being true to yourself is extremely important to being a ceo Mm. you should know what you are made of what your strengths are what your weaknesses are you should be able to build a team around it because you can't do everything yourself so you need to be able to build a set of people who would be very complementary to your expertise to your abilities so that you can work together with them ceo akela kuch nahi kar sakta kuch nahi hota he does not exist he needs people uh, he needs a team mm. who is execute not just executes but also um compliments ah the ceo now short questions so tell me khatoon ceo heading uh, not only pakistan but two other countries too work life balance ka kya chakkar hai work life balance aap jis tarah se banana chahte hain banate hain acha sachi baat hai ye kaise ho jayega matlab dekhe um bahut sare log indira nuhi ke um ek interview hai jo bahut hi popular hai when she talks about women can women have it all usko um address karte hain i agree to her point you can't have it all i agree to her point when she says that you have to build mechanisms that allow you for that uh balance, balance uh-huh. right um but i have done quite a few things that i think that strike balance in my life i love to take time off oh very good i love to say that you know this i cannot do right now i'll probably look at it later um i plan my days ahead and weeks and months ahead woo weeks and months too weeks for personal and months too All my vacations are planned six months and seven months in advance. हाँ 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 अच्छा मैं उनको बहुत अच्छे से plan करती हूँ मैं बहुत अच्छे से और मैं पूरी दुनिया को inform करती हूँ कि भाई जब मैं जा रही हूँ कि मैं इस time पे available नहीं हूँ नहीं होगी don't expect me to be there to me to be there and then manage accordingly. वो God forbid कोई ऐसी चीज़ हो जाए जो कि आपको नहीं पता वो that's something different hmm. but then I plan things accordingly. Then the second one of the things that I do is that आप अपने साथ जो इतने लोग होते हैं ना उनकी एक्सपेक्टेशंस भी बिल्ड करते हैं भाई ये मेरी टाइमिंग के रिक्वायरमेंट्स और ये मेरे नहीं है और ये मेरे नहीं है तो यू 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 मेक देम क्लियर इन एडवांस यू मेक देम क्लियर इन एडवांस व्हेन यू आर अवेलेबल वेयर यू आर अवेलेबल ना 
and that goes not only to your colleagues but also to your family <laughs> you have to balance na to work balance. and uh, i know when my phone is going to ring it's going to be an emergency serious ha huh? otherwise they are not going to ring nobody is going to bother God. me during this time frame hmm. similarly for work is and uh, there is oh. an emergency then they get ring okay now what is uh, success to maria abhi to aapne kaha that wo to shuru tha na to abhi I think every phase in life has a different definition of success for you, right? Maybe uh, when I was a little younger, having uh, you know, working on multiple projects, uh, being able to roam around the world, having that level of exposure was uh, was the meaning of success for me. Um, over the period of time, as I've become more and more involved with people, I think having um, health my personal health the health of the people that i'm working with and not just physical health but also mental health of people that That's i'm working so with is also extremely extremely important and if you find yourself around team members and family members who are happy who are content uh who are positive every single day that you're interacting with them that success for me because it's very difficult to find in this these days where life is extremely extremely fast and Not very uh, fast mm. so what is happiness to maria um when my daughter writes i'm the best <laughs> mom in the world hi <laughs> cute it was mother's mm. day some days back na yeah <laughs> mm. that is happiness But, with me. so okay now you tell me what's your favorite food I am a foodie. I can eat anything. I love to eat. <sighs> Same here. And uh, food is life, food. huh? They see, oh, or after you are depends on the mood. mood. I'm not into. I mean, a lot of people love sushi. Hmm. With uh, due apologies to everybody who loves sushi and sashimi, I'm not into Japanese food <laughs> that much. I find myself in a challenging environment <laughs> if I have to eat anything of that sort. other than that i can eat mexican well, hmm. chinese hmm. um you know italian hmm. or french even french is fine two a little bit movies or two series are that is on your top list all the time or you loved watching hmm for the longest time in my career my watch list has been around anime and cartoons for my kids Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Two of your hobbies means no movie, no uh, series uh, in uh, last five years. Last I watched was uh, and that was when I was suffering from dengue. Okay. Uh, so so we had nothing to do. Recovery, <laughs> I had nothing else to do, and I dropped all my calls because I couldn't speak. So I watched the Queen's Gambit. Oh. Um, Ooh. That's what I watched. The chess one, na? the chess one. The, uh, by the way, the girl born in the end too. Yes. So the story was uh, similar to and, you. And uh, hmm. and then probably earlier in my career, I used to watch Prison Break. Ah. So I still think that. Uh, so I'm I'm huge on Prison Breaks. Uh, Prison Break and uh, from a movie standpoint, some of the classics, Shawshank Redemption is all ah. all time my favorite. I mean, I can watch it every single time. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, your two hobbies? Anything else other than corporate I you love to, to do? I love to crochet. Two crochet. Ha ha! You do? Yeah. Oh wow! And, Wait, I can't see any piece here. uh they're all at my mother's home okay <laughs> <laughs> she keeps track of what i'm uh-huh. making but i love to do that ha uh-huh. and number 2 spare time and then second time second thing i love spending time with my kids that's my i hmm. mean every little hour minute i have uh, hmm. that i don't want to uh, work or or do something else then i spend with my kids two things you enjoy being corporate women um being around different people all yes. the time okay it's, uh, i hmm. take my energy from people so i hmm. thrive interacting with humans and uh, love to do so love to have casual chats chit chats hmm. usually hmm. it's only you that i'm sitting inside otherwise i would have been outside <laughs> chatting with the people or on the calls with the people so uh, that's what i hmm. enjoy the most and the second thing i i love is again the same Uh, in terms of generating that impact to the communities that i work hmm. with so that's that's hmm. something that has always got hmm. me going two things you recommend or two skills you recommend to young girls to be like you it's mostly to mothers 
नॉट रेडी टू अच्छा अम्माओं के लिए और अब्बाओं के लिए है वाई बिकॉज आई बिलीव दैट वेन यू रेजिंग चिल्ड्रेन वेन यू रेजिंग यंग किड्स प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू ब्रिंग दैट यू अलाउ देम टू प्रायोरिटाइज फॉर देम सेल्स वट मेक्स देम हैप्पी राइट डोंट पुश यू नो करियर्स ऑन टू देम लड़कियों को प्लीज ये ना कहें कि तुम्हारा जिंदगी का एंड गोल है कोई अच्छा लड़का मिल जाए शादी हो जाए वो तो हो ही जाएगी इवेंचुअली हो जाएगी अगर किस्मत में होगी तो हो जाएगी चाहेंगे तो हो जाएगी प्लीज 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 टीच दम लाइफ स्किल्स लाइफ स्किल्स लाइफ स्किल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट कोपिंग मैकेनिज्म आर इम्पॉर्टेंट हम लोग पढ़ाई की तरफ ध्यान देना शुरू करते हैं तो कहते हैं बच्चा कुछ ना करे सिर्फ पढ़ता रहे बट देर आर दाइफ स्किल्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट लाइफ स्किल्स इम्पोर्टेंट डिसिप्लिन इज वन ऑफ दम सो डू ट्राई दैट छोटी बच्चियों को तो वो वो सब कुछ जो मर्जी आप कहते हैं ना यू लर्न फ्रॉम एक्सपीरियंस आई वॉज टेलिंग यू लिटल बेट अर्लियर यू लर्न फ्रॉम एक्सपीरियंस माए इम्पोर्टेंट है कि वो कैसा ब्रॉट अप करती हैं बच्ची क्योंकि बच्ची आज वो कहते हैं ना बच्चे बंदर होते हैं देव लर्न फ्रॉम वट एवर यू मैं जो मर्जी आए लड़कियों हाँ, एडवाइस उनकी माओ को एड्रेस करना ज्यादा जरूरी है ओके योर मैसेज ऑफ होप एंड ऑप्टिमिज्म फॉर यूथ डोंट फिक्स एट योर सेल्फ एवर कि जिंदगी में ये अचीव नहीं हुआ तो लाइफ हैज एंडेड और यू नो डोंट डिफाइन सक्सेस बाय पोजिशन और द मनी दैट यू मेक डू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम अ लॉन्गर टर्म स्टैंड पॉइंट अ फेलियर टूडे इज एन एक्सपीरियंस फॉर टू फॉर टू मोरू यू हैव टू लर्न एंड समटाइम्स हर किसी का लर्निंग कर्व बहुत डिफरेंट है यू नो द अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट आई हैड इन माई करियर ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम Not necessarily everybody will have. Uh, नाजिया ने मुझसे पूछा कि आपका करियर पाथ क्या था भाई जरूरी नहीं है कि अगले का भी सी ई ओ बनने के लिए करियर पाथ ऐसा ही यू हैव टू डिफाइन योर ओन करियर यू हैव टू टेक चांसेस यू हैव टू बी टेक एबल टू टेक अ फ्यू रिस्क डोंट बी टू रिस्क टेक अल बिट ऑफ रिस्क कैन हैव अ लॉट मोर फन वी end up not having a lot more lot of fun ha, do have in fun. life na ha. do, do have, have fun. fun wow <laughs> good great thank you so much maria it was really pleasure talking to you and i wish you good luck because as you said this is just the start for you na thank you hmm? so much by the way uh, from today's session i have got two things jo mujhe bahut prominent nazar aayi is number one was your passion 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 to do something it was then and the, again it's now Yeah. When you got the first C class role, again you was like, "This is my start again." So, uh, um, so your passion is extraordinary. We wish you good luck for Thank that. And so number much. two is your connection with people, na? Because you believe that you are a people's person, so you you were able to excel then, and now, mashallah, you are able to excel now too, na? So, thank you so much for representing Pakistan uh, there internationally by a woman. So we are really proud of. Thank you so much. By the way, uh, I hope you guys liked watching this episode. अगर आपके पास भी कोई इतनी ही अच्छी success story है, तो हमसे जरूर share करें. Thank you so much.